the training for the way of weeks, which is a long time for one particular style, and then have to make a drastic change. In the case of Lennox, it was a major change. And he won 40 of them, losing only a questly horrid fight in Las Vegas back in 1999. Most all of the great champions that's coming from Mexico in the last 10, 15 years have pretty much come from his state. Hard uppercut. In America. Compu box numbers in round. Great combination by Marquez. He's placing his very much on the same pattern, the same tempo as the champion is. Placing his punches, pretty good defense. But Boxes Marquez around in there. Lacona enjoying what appears to be a weight advantage. Certified. <laughs> Lacona trying to go to the right hand with the body, and Marquez counting upstairs with the left hand. A little bit slower, but he's very much in this fight at this stage. Triple left hand. A bit favoring Marquez, but he haven't really dominated. Rugged and schooled Mexican fighters. No raging bull tonight yet. He being Lacona. Yes. Yes. A point error that they're used to those body shots. A uh, double left effective punch in the entire fight has been the left hook to the body. Marquez at this stage. Small of a brain. At least he's getting with the laces. California followed with the red duct tape. Now They're a little bit more uncomfortable with the whole situation now. Marquez clearly. Good balance, good footwork, punches with authority. Lacona also equally as sharp and as crisp as he was. Ah, so that right hand. Two of my favorites. <laughs> Tremendously skilled. <laughs> Could turn out to be too brave for his own good. But an unbeaten fighter from the Bronx who's arousing some attention in the sport. The 140 pound woman. has two left hooks. You know. And another great left hook. Yes. And a right hand and a right hand. Stood up to that stuff. Personally, I would say no. Hooks to the head this round. Earlier, he was landing with a lot of right hands on the top. And now Marquez doubling and tripling on that solid jab. Barrera. He expected. He's well on his way to an easy victory. Winning every round. Landing more punches. Delivering. Lacona. Pounding with a left hook. Coming forward with the right hand to the body. Lacona still. Right back with something. See there. Really good yacht. Get him up. Do so. Total in round seven. One and one of the greatest, I think, most talented fighters in the world today, and fighting a very credible fight. And accuracy going into the final rounds of the fight. You know, just to the. Get him up, Michael. Alice has not been that consistent in recent fights. He looked good in some fights and he looked ordinary in other fights. Well, that was the difference. Well, but Morales gets up for the big occasion. Great right uppercut. Down goes Lakota on a brilliantly thrown uppercut. And it's a punch he never even saw. Can't throw that punch right of that. I think he still would present some problems to Marquez. Early in his career, we wouldn't have thought Derek Game score a KO against a guy who came into the ring at 142 for a fight. McConnor has good recuperative talents. So this, that right up because it's a punch. So some of the most unusual executed combinations coming from Barrera and now with Marquez of it. See, earlier he would always come back with come. I agree with you, Larry. Hard uh, right, right hand. Right hand. And Rock to Kona, open to cut under his left eye. Stop this fight. No more. 
No more. No mas. You heard. So the fight will be stopped, and the knockout streak continues for Juan Manuel Marquez. A tenth consecutive KO for Marquez. In what I saw, guys. As Ladies and gentlemen, referee Richard Flaherty, acting on the advice of the physicians assigned at ringside, calls a halt to the contest. The official time at the end of the ninth round. Marcos Licona unable to continue the winner by TKO victory, Juan Manuel Marquez.